Hello there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now hopefully you've seen my video on shallow depth of field and on bokeh. If you haven't, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Today I want to show you how you can visualize the shallow depth of field effect using a focus a peaking on the Sony Alpha 7. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. <laughs> Okay, so let's start by talking about focus peaking. It's a technology you get in some cameras that allows you to see by having actual visual signs, in my case, little red dots, little red lines that appear on the image to show you what's in focus. And by using focus peaking, we can actually see what happens when we change the aperture and how that affects the depth of field, which of course affects the bokeh effect that you can get in a photo. So let's go over to the Alpha 7 and let's see this in action. Okay, so what I want to show here is how we can use focus peaking to demonstrate shallow depth of field. So here I've got my Sony A7, there's a flower pot here on the table, and in the background we've got some of the garden. And clearly things in the background here are out of focus, but actually the flower pot is slightly out of focus. And what we're going to do is we're just going to use manual focus now to bring this back into focus. and the focus peaking will tell us when we're in focus. There we go. We can see all those red lines, and that's something you set up in the settings to say I want red to show when things are in focus. So there we go. It's all uh, red on the, on the petals and flowers there. But notice how everything else in the background is still out of focus. Now I'm on F, let's see what F we're on, F4 at the moment, and here I can change the F setting manually. I'm not touching the focus. Okay, so we've gone to F4.5, going to F5, Okay, now notice now F6.3, we're starting to see a bit of focus peaking here on the goal posts. Let's keep bumping it up, F9. Okay, now we can see here on the trees, it's starting to be in focus. Okay, so let's go a bit further. The goal posts now are fully uh, lit up. The tree is fully lit up. Let's see how far this goes if we go. Now I can see here on the tree house here in the background, some of the ladder and things is starting to be lit up. So there we go, at F25, which is the uh, maximum, we can see that actually all the stuff in the background there is now in focus, and the flower pot has remained in focus. And focus peaking is showing us that. All I've done is change the F number. I haven't touched the focus at all. And now if we go back the other way, towards a smaller F number, which means a bigger aperture, we can see now how all these things have stopped being in focus. And we go right back down to four, and we can see just the flowers uh, are there in focus. So there you go, focus peaking, just demonstrating how the aperture affects the depth of field. And so there you have it, a quick demonstration of the principles of depth of field and how you change the aperture using focus peaking on the Sony Alpha 7. My name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe. I notice about 75% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed to the channel, so it'd be really good if you hit that subscribe button. And uh, well, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.